Indo-Canadian ties have hit an all-time low. Canada has hurled the ultimate insult on India's men in uniform. No less than two retired Lieutenant Generals, three Brigadiers and two senior officials of the Intelligence Bureau have been denied visa on grounds that their organizations were engaged in violence. India has taken strong exception to Canadian immigration calling the Intelligence Bureau a terrorist organization. New Delhi, in fact, has threatened retaliation if Canada does not apologize. Lieutenant General Amrit Singh Bahia, former Director General Military Operations, former Quartermaster General, and currently a member of the Armed Forces Tribunal. He's been denied a visa to visit Canada. Reason, he once served as a Rashtriya Rifle Sector Commander in Jammu and Kashmir. And the Canadian High Commission has said that sector commanders have a hand in the 70,000 deaths in the state. Headlines today has exclusive excerpts of a letter shot off by the General to the Defence Ministry. It is highly lamentable that a foreign mission is allowed to cast aspersions on an officer with an unblemished service record and therefore the army as a whole. Civil society and the international community are well informed about operations in Jammu and Kashmir. It is my urgent submission that the government take strong exception to this situation and take up the matter at the appropriate levels. In addition, as soldiers, we serve where we are ordered to. It should be no one's argument that service deployments have any bearing on post-retirement entitlements. As a citizen of the country and an ex-army officer, I believe I have every right to seek the requisite permissions to visit any country of my choosing. General Bahia's is not an isolated case. Canada has been blatantly hurling insults at India's security establishment. This is R.S. Gill, a retired DIG of the CRPF. He too was denied visa. In its letter, the Canadian consulate accused CRPF in the murder and disappearance of 6,017 Sikh youth in Punjab. In fact, I was shocked to receive this letter uh, because they dragged the good name of my organization, CRPF. I am proud that I belong to such a great force and I never expected from the Canadian consulate to write such derogatory remarks. Canada's High Commission in Delhi also denied a visa to a former Deputy Director Rank Officer in the Intelligence Bureau. Round, IB officers could affect Canada's interests in Afghanistan. My past association with the Intelligence Bureau, where I served for 38 years, so they have defined it as a, a department which is engaging in terrorism, espionage, and subversion. Even Punjab top cops have been at the receiving end of Canada's bizarre diktats. ADG Crime, Ranjit Gupta and Patiala SSP, Ranbir Singh, were both denied visa. The reason, once again, human rights violations while fighting terror in Punjab. And then there was the case of Fadeh Singh Pander, the retired BSF head constable who was denied visa as he had served in a violent and notorious force. Pander protested, taking up the matter with the Ministry of Home Affairs. Canada's foreign ministry then regretted the mistake in Pandey's case. But clearly, lessons have still not been learned. Repeated insults have created a storm in South Bloc. Canada's repeated denial of visa to some people associated with certain departments of the government has gravely upset the Indian establishment. And the peculiar stand taken by Canada, a country that has been considered friendly, has also surprised many. The Home Secretary has already written to the Foreign Secretary asking her to demand a formal apology from the Canadians. We take note of that, we take serious note of that, we are concerned at this matter and we, we are in touch with the Canadian side on this matter. But calls for a strong response are gathering steam. Given that India as a country has been indulging in activities which border criminal activities, but it is a very, very serious charge. They have castigated the entire country. Canadian High Commission has definitely got to the wrong side of Ministry of Home Affairs by writing letters like these to few of the men in uniform. 
all these men have served the country but calling them members of terrorist groups or talking to them and saying that they were inadmissible in Canada has caused alarm bells ringing in MHA. They have raised this objection with MEA and want to take up the matter at the highest level. Ministry of External Affairs claims it will not let its soldiers be insulted. But action on ground remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.